Hey guys, Soccer from Soccer Ticket, and today's video I want to show you guys the enhanced always on display for the One UI 3.0 with Android 11. Now, over here, I have a Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra that is running One UI version 3.0 with Android 11, and over here, we have the One UI 2.5 Android 10. And the always on display on this is equal to all the previous models. But One UI version 3.0 does in fact have slight improvements. So let's uh, dive into the details and see what's happening. So let's go to our settings. All right, I'm going to go to the settings over here. Uh, it's going to be under lock screen. So let's go to lock screen, lock screen, okay. And I have this phone here just as a comparison so I can see what it exactly changed. So here it is, the always on display. You go inside and then you go inside here. And so far, they look almost identical. But when you go into the actual clock style, okay, things are going to look a little bit different. So the presentation has, in fact, changed. So here what we have is we have the actual clocks and the colors right here. Here we have the clock and the colors separately over here. So you pick a clock, then you go over and you pick a color that you want, okay? Now, one thing that's bad over here is you, can, you cannot pick any color that you want. With this one here, if I go over here, I can pick any color that I want from this color palette. As you can see, for example, let's do this one, and that's gonna be the color uh, for my actual clock. Now, there's only a few clocks here, and the reason is because they're gonna be adding more. You might see a couple extra over here, but we also are gonna have all those over here as well. Now, the options at the end here also have moved around. So this one here, I can tap also for to get more clock styles. And I have things like this, as you can see. So that's a little bit different. We are not going to see that over here. Uh, we do have this one here. That's all the same. That's not a big deal. Uh, but let's go out over here. I'm going to show you one more thing. Uh, go back to clock style. And what I can do now is I can go over and I have these additional options. So I can do choose from gallery. So I can... Uh, insert a photo here from my gallery or go straight to my theme store. Additionally, I can add these pre-existing GIFs. So if I tap on here, I have all these options that I can dump uh, onto my always on screen. So if I tap on done, okay, let's try it again. Okay, there it is. So you can see the world right there. And of course, it is in fact animated, all right? So let's go back. So that's the new menu option that we have over here. We don't we don't have them yet. Okay, you're probably gonna get it with an update. But at the bottom, we can also add some bitmojis. So if I tap on this one, I have the option to select these guys right over here, such as this guy. Or if I go back over there again, I can pick something like uh, this right here. Okay, so just a quick look at the new enhanced always on display. Again, that's for Android 11, One UI 3.0. You're not getting a huge amount of extra functionality with this particular feature, but you're getting a little visual tweaks and a different presentation. All right, so if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.